The Florsheimer Center for Constitutional Democracy here at Cardozo Law School is the hub for studies of constitutional law, the law of democracy, and the role that each play in our civic life and in the functioning of our national system. There's a range of classes that you might take. Um, every student is going to take the foundational constitutional class, which structure, uh, focuses on the structure of constitutional law. So we think about separation of powers, federalism, the arrangement of the government branches, and sort of how they interact with each other to do things like protect core rights uh, and fundamental liberties. Uh, students have the option of taking some upper level classes, including Constitutional Law 2, which focuses on rights specifically, um, and other classes. Uh, I will be teaching election law, so that's another available class, uh, First Amendment. Um, and there's a range of things for people who think about the work that the government does uh, and that sort of dynamic and interaction with the people really so we can continue to call ourselves a democracy or a constitutional democracy. Each year we put on a number of events either involving uh, scholars from inside the law school, from outside the law school, as well as attorneys, uh, elected officials, uh, other government officials uh, to try to educate the community. Uh, our students, our alumni, our broader networks uh, about some of the most pressing issues that face our country, that face our constitutional democracy, and provide students and our community with ways that they can get involved, ways that they can further pursue uh, through study or through uh, voting, through activism, um, ways that they can pursue changes uh, in the world that they would like to see emerge. One of the examples of this that I think is particularly uh, at the center of Florsheimer's work is uh, whenever there's an election year, and those happen frequently when you include state, local, and federal elections. Uh, the Florsheimer Center puts on a lot of educational programming through our social media, uh, as well as through our website, and often through our in-person events uh, to talk to folks about what are the issues that are on the ballot, uh, particularly, again, at the state and local level to get people thinking about the importance of voting, the importance of civic participation. Our work is nonpartisan, but we do firmly believe in people getting involved in the national discourse and people getting involved through voting. And so it advances the goals of constitutional democracy when people vote, when people participate, regardless of the perspective or the candidate whom they support. One of the highlights each year is our annual Supreme Court term preview, where a number of the members of the faculty sit down and uh, talk to the students about the cases that are coming up that year on the Supreme Court's docket. The Florsheimer Center recently hosted a really interesting event uh, that compared the struggles for free speech and constitutional democracy in Hungary, where they're also firmly under threat. Uh, with the challenges we face here at home, drawing connections with scholars as well as journalists uh, between the efforts to push back on constitutional democracy in both nations and to draw some lessons about what we might be able to do here at home to protect and preserve our civil liberties and our constitutional freedoms. For students who are interested in getting more involved, uh, so there are opportunities each year at the Florensheimer Center uh, we hire a couple of student fellows, um, one or two student fellows, to help us uh, with the administrative work, uh, some research, the sort of intellectual and academic programming um, around important issues uh, related to the constitutional democracy. Uh, some professors will hire research and teaching assistants. I certainly do, and I rely on them a lot um, to help me uh, get 1Ls in line and prepare for what is a very different course of study than your other 1L classes like contracts and property. There are outside uh, other ways outside of the classroom to get involved. I think a number of students do externships with federal and state judges. Uh, that's a way to kind of think about the Constitution in practice often or other aspects of public law. The Florsheimer Center is happy to partner with and co-sponsor events with student organizations, uh, with all of our journals. We partner and co-sponsor with them on their various symposia, uh, their various outside speaker events. Again, because these are more and more ways that we can deploy our resources to help other student organizations and other of the faculty centers to reach more people, to put on more programming, to bring in more interesting and exciting speakers, uh, and to, again, further educate the community uh, about these critical issues.